Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Craft Fairies. Today we're going to look at the trio of Christmas scrolls. Now you might have noticed my little decoration here that I use in all my tutorials and this is what we're talking about. It's the little trio of Christmas scrolls. There we are. And you can have a completely different look if you change the decorations of the scrolls. Here we've got a frosted Christmassy weddingy scroll. And there we go. Or you can have a more natural decoration of your Christmas scrolls. This one has got twine, but still the same berries. Okay. And you can pretty much do anything you want with these. So I'm just gonna remove them out of the way because this one's going to be a fiddly tutorial. First of all, you're going to need some parchment. Okay, I like to go for the ones that look like they've old paper from oldie worldy gone by. <laughs> and what we've done is we have printed some music or you can have whatever you want on it. Um, I've gone for Silent Night because that's my favourite Christmas carol. And you pretty much want the length of your index finger, okay? And a little bit longer to make it look like a piece of paper. You have to have a look around your house to find a cylinder object for you to roll it with. You can do it by hand, but I find that a little pen or something like that can help. So I've got a, a mascara bottle. And what you do is you start from the end. And then what I usually do as long as you can see the title, is put a little bit of double-sided tape and then you just fold it over, pull out the cylinder and there you have it. Now I usually make these up in oh, lots at a time so I can get on with the craft, but with this one you only need three of these, okay? So once you've done that, you will have three hopefully. There we are. And what I've done is I've glued them on with some hot glue. But you can use double-sided sellotape as well, but I find the glue sticks them better. So now you have your lovely threaded trio and you can make the edges look a little bit more rustic. I quite like that look. <laughs> so here you have your trio. And what you need to do now is bring in your ribbon. Now, doesn't matter if you use loads of ribbon, you can cut the ends afterwards. So I usually put a double knot in here. And we can tidy up the beautiful edges at the end, though I think that's quite nice. There you go, can you see that? It's looking rather cute. See, I damaged the end by tying it, but I'm going to cut that. And if you're going to use it as a Christmas decoration, you're going to need a tag. Now, I've already organized what I'd like on mine. To the back, there we are. Beautiful. And then we start with the leaves. So where do you think the leaves should go? Should the leaf go here or should it go there? I quite like it there. So, a bit of glue. some berries. Now these are fake berries because we don't want anyone getting ill by our Christmas decorations. Now, put a little bit of gold in there and 
we're going to probably put one of these really nice pine cones. is all finished very simple once you've got the scrolls all set up and there you go thank you for watching